I think of colorful dresses, and then I think of prom. That was a hard stretch. That's fine, but we're <laughs> going to keep rolling with it. And so while we're on the topic of prom dresses, there are now certain standards that schools yes. have to yeah. uh, abide by. So what are those standards? Well, specifically in Wisconsin. So a uh, high school in Wisconsin, uh, Pewaukee High. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a, yes. say that uh, Go three Pewaukee. times. Uh, they are the defending their heads. requirement <laughs> for students to send pictures of their homecoming dresses before they can buy tickets to the actual dance. So yeah. you try on the dress, the young woman or the, the young man, you try on the outfit, mm -hmm. you take a front and back picture, and then you submit it and wait for approval before you can get your ticket mm. to the dance. So mm -hmm. some of the things they aren't requiring, uh, strapless. If it's um, spaghetti straps, that's also on the cusp. Okay. Anything that uh, kind of highlights your cleavage in any way, so, and it, based on uh, just that alone, it's pretty strict because yeah. just because you have on a strapless dress doesn't necessarily mean that it's too sexy or that mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's too revealing. Yeah. But they are cracking down to the point where one student in particular said, "I would rather not go." Mm. And that's what's I think gonna happen. Send yeah. you my picture so you can get approval, or you'll have the kids who just say that they're gonna wear a dress, get the approval, and show up in something else. Well, and that was the other kicker the about this. So they right. were saying your dress has to match the dress that you submitted. Are they gonna have pictures though, day of? Logistically, Looking? it doesn't make Look sense. Technology. You're gonna have to bring in a team. Right. Just on your ID, mm -hmm. when you scan your ID, the picture, I'm sure, of your dress pops up. I mean, everything's so techy these days. I get it for family members who work in education, my father included at a vice principal level. Kids these days are coming to school. Kids these days. <laughs> the kids these They're days are <laughs> coming to school. And this is just from, it's not even what he's saying. It's just from like what I'm seeing. Right. But you know, just the way in which their dressing at the high school level is much different than it was when we were. And I thought like showing a little midriff like from time to time was really risky. Now mm -hmm. they're selling these shirts at, at little shops that you know kids who are going to high school are wearing. So I'm going to stand on the side of I get it from the administrative mm -hmm. side of things because girls need to, to sometimes to know to there are certain places for certain certain clothes and if you have something to end the cleave but you're still at school it's still a big it's still mm -hmm. a school event that's my take on yeah, it yeah then but they turn on the emmys or the oscars and you're right mm -hmm. they're role models yeah but are they in high school? Awards, i mean but are they in and high school a dress made out of bacon but yeah. i mean but think about it but on the <laughs> flip side right. uh, we went say, back to fast food it's <laughs> like you're submitting your, your picture to somebody who may not be as stylish as you would hope you sending it to Moo Moo McGillicuddy, and she's supposed yeah. to tell right. you was cute right. or not. Like to, that, Moo Moo, tell me what's going on. Moo Moo doesn't like, know what's going on. Moo Moo doesn't know what's going on, and I gotta, t I have to ask her if this looks good well, enough. For is me it to about wear. style or is it about Sometimes showing too much cleavage? Because right. if you have on a, a, a strapless uh, dress, that doesn't even necessarily mean that it's raunchy, but it seems like that's very cut and dry. Like no sh strapless, right? Right. right. There has to be an across the board. You know, standard. I feel like there must have been something that led up to this. Of course, I'm sure. Last year, there was a big issue with girls showing up. I mean, prom dresses now, they are being sold as two-piece and oh, with the yeah. tiny little top and then the skirt and you see the entire stomach and maybe even something that has no back. I mean, things are getting a little bit more risque and I'm That's, sure. Oh, you just described a cheerleader's outfit. I mean, come on. We didn't know well, what the high school level. I mean, We're come not on, showing are there dance major. competitions? I mean, like, come on, the, let's the, be I honest the, about the, this. The dance, I I, she, you. you were dance, I was cheer. Yep. We never showed midriff, but did you show midriff in uh, high school? In high school, no. At my high school, they did. They did. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. Okay. And how we far went to we rival did? high school, so my my high school was. Mm, you know, which high school was trampy? We, <laughs> <laughs> we had. Uh, we had. Mid they, they were after graduating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We had short top. Short top. Okay. Short top. As a dad, and as a dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a daughter mm -hmm. who's saying, "Dad, I need three hundred dollars for a prom dress." Mm -hmm. Three. Woo! Just say. Just yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much they are. Honestly, that's about right. That's about right. Okay. Right. Do you, as a parent? appreciate that the administration is now putting these rules so you don't have to step in and oh. say daughter don't wear that what if the principal is the one who says it and now you're kind of off the hook isn't that better for you I, don't know. Uh, I think it should be done on the parental level parents okay. should be involved with their kids and their okay. kids exactly. lives. like i mean and you think this is all female but no when and i was a kid right. i was headed out of the why am i telling you this i was headed out of the house one time <laughs> to a dance and my mom said you can't wear those pants. We, those are too tight. We are not tight pant people. Texas. <laughs> 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 so, to 
too yeah, tight. Absolutely. Yeah, my pants were too tight. So the other side of this would be okay, but what are we teaching our kids right mm -hmm. about their body and about body image and telling you know someone, whether it be mm -hmm. a male or female, telling your daughter or your son that they can't because they a don't look good or the, you know as a little shoulder and we talk about this all the time as a little shoulder action too much for for a boy and then we need to teach our boys to, to not worry about the shoulders of girls my shoulders well, shouldn't I mean, these are guys with hormones right and I get that which is probably why <laughs> at this level they're son. doing it <laughs> right. but it just becomes a much deeper conversation about where do you draw that line of teaching our kids to respect their body but also know that it is their body and they should be able to do what they and want what about our it. schools becoming and police states I mean right. are we saying at students we've now engaged the FBI we've converted their photo facial recognition <laughs> software. We will have torque detectors on the <laughs> dance floor. Okay. Okay. Try to twerk. The alarms will sound. Okay, <laughs> Trisha, Trisha Archuleta. Hello, Trisha said this, Ooh. and this is a valid point, Trisha, because okay, I Trish. remember these girls as well in, 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 in my high school days. Sorry, my daughter's a cheerleader, and the volleyball players mm. wear much less. They do. Mm -hmm. The they tight do. shorts. They do. Uh, yeah. We also cool, cool see um, Kelly, who says, Oh hell, when I was a teen, we wore pants so tight that we laid down to put them on. I figure the problem <laughs> proceeds from. That's on the parents. Exactly. <laughs> yes, parents. Yeah, I, do want, I do want to point out, <laughs> per the article that we used uh, in, re in regards to this, says boys are not required to submit a photo of themselves in regards mm, to their say. attire. Okay. Hmm. Right. Girls are, boys are oh. not. Right, Fair. that right there. Okay, and I that think changes it. Mm -hmm. Dina, in the be beginning, you said, I think there's more to this story. I think there's a probably more practical reason why this came about. If you are uh, running a school, you're mm -hmm. in administration or you're a teacher, the last thing you want to deal with is all this controversy. Yeah. So you just want to make it easy on yourself. Right. You don't want to have p parents calling, protests, it makes the local news, this whole thing happens. You want to go and educate, get to know these kids, guide them on the right path, and you just don't want to go there. So this mm -hmm. is the easiest route. You create rules and then when they say blah 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 you say nope these are the rules. Mm -hmm. So but there's I think probably this just is creating a, it. No? Isn't I, this, isn't this getting controversial? Well, I think because we're talking about it. Yeah, I think now we're talking about it, but I do think Mark's right. I think parents should be involved in the process. So had this not gone as far as taking a picture and sending it to an administrator because then I can see that going really south. Which administrator is going to have pictures of these 16 year old girls on their phone? I mean, just Ooh. thinking about mm. that part I wouldn't of it. think it would be on the phone. I, I would see. Not. I hope not. <laughs> right. But, but, but I have on their iPhone, their I new mean, iPhone 10. Right. I just don't know the logistics <laughs> of it, so that you know may not be what happens. But I could see the parents sending letters home or at least emails to parents and saying, hey, Prom season's coming up. We're going to be really strict on the mm -hmm. dress code. If your kids show up wearing something that has X, Y, and Z, they won't be allowed in. Mm -hmm. Please inform them and let them know. Right. I think that might have been a way to handle it. Yeah, well, here's, and it's here's easy one other thing. Right. You know where this is going? Remember what happened to Halloween? Everyone used to dress up mm -hmm. for at school. As an elementary yeah. student, you go to Halloween, you dress up, you have a little parade. Right. And then all of a sudden, no more Halloween can't dress up at school anymore so I just Many hope rules. it's not going there well, because, maybe that's because you have memories now of prom, the sexy Halloween Ninja Turtle a, right. and the sexy Power Rangers. <laughs> well yeah. The sexy Smurf and the it sexy Rainbow Bright. Fanta yeah, Girl. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a sexy Freddy Krueger costume. <laughs> really? Like, there is a sexy Freddy Krueger costume. I'm googling that at now. Like, I, mean, I was a sexy skunk <laughs> for Halloween really? when I went to <laughs> when I went to Santa Barbara that one Halloween I mean you weren't in college still yeah. but that one Halloween I talked about. Do I know you? Sexy Caesar was like a here. was a sexy Tarzan, and I was a sexy skunk. You can oh sex gosh. anything They're up. Sexy right. Like everything. you could be a sexy. Cuck I was ketchup if you want. and mustard once. Sexy was it sexy ketchup though? And oh, like Dina was the full oh, on like, like hi, I'm I mustard. Put like, like, a, <laughs> like a birth, like a birthday <laughs> hat on that was spray Dina. painted yellow, and it had like all yellow. Yeah. I went in it's invisible like, clothes one yeah. time. Oh. University of Oregon. A troll. You were a troll. Did you have colored hair? You know what a simple solution would be for this prom? Now I think about it. Give them options instead. Instead of like prejudging this, have like a box full of ponchos. Do you guys know what ponchos are? <laughs> yeah. If Wait, you show now up, we're, and cultural, like, you know, we're getting cultural. Right, right. Oh, it, boy. You, you can't <laughs> cross the line. Oh, you you, you, you show up and you go, oh, okay, Miss <laughs> Miley Cyrus, you got to wear this poncho or go home and change. Your option. Backlash. Oh, okay, I the see. Poncho. You mean no like poncho? like a um, like a rain poncho? Like a rain, rain poncho. poncho. Yeah. Yellow yeah. with the hood. Yeah. What, wait, oh. what did you think I was?
was referring to. No, we knew that, but a cultural I was thinking of a rainbow. Yeah. Can I process. end it with this comment from Kelly? Kind of and, and it'll leave us all Please. brewing and stewing. Uh, Kelly Pearson says, all clothing standards dr of dress fall on girls. <laughs> we live in a country that worries about virtue and modesty mm. as if a girl's body was a problem. Mm. So, Kelly, you make a valid point. Yes. It, it, I think that this conversation could continue for many hours. Yeah, but Kelly. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay, <laughs> last topic. I'm swallowing words.